Good morning, fellow Nigerians. It is 2.38 a.m. Central Standard Time in the United States. My name is Smart Madu Ajaja. Happening right now in China, Africans are being singled out for another round of testing for coronavirus. In fact, they are being accused that they were the source of the infection and that the infection came from Africa. And uh, they are going from house to house to abduct Africans, especially Africans or including Africans who are married to Chinese. When they come, they will insist on testing their husbands who are African males and then they are being asked to vacate their homes and be placed in the streets. A lot of Africans, especially Nigerians, are in hiding this minute in China. And before I continue, I'm going to play for you to hear the sound, the audio of a meeting held between the Nigerian and Chinese officials, in which the Chinese Nigerian officials alerted the Chinese officials about the ill treatments being meted to Africans especially Nigerians. Listen. April 2020. This is a meeting and uh, this is a call for meeting. I also thank China for fighting this disease to stand still. It's not easy, it's not so easy. And the cases we have in China now are what we call important cases. But China has finally battled the the virus to start still, that's very good for China. And also thank China for also helping other countries to fight the disease. You know? Because China now is supplying or sending medical equipment to other countries. China now is sending some medical personnel to other countries. That's very good for China. China is doing very well as well. To make sure that this disease goes out from the whole world. Thank you so much for this. And there are other things we we need to measure. Uh, people are also having some challenges since the disease began. I will name the, the, the problems one by one. For example, since this COVID-19, many people have been chased out from their houses. You know? And when you chase people from their houses, they are on the street. What do you want, what do you want them to do? is more dangerous. The people who have the disease, they can stay in their house and control and quarantine themselves. And when you chase them out... That is the first segment of that meeting. Africa, Nigeria, you open your doors to Chinese. They are in every little village in Nigeria. And you work on them. You open your doors to them. I hope you are hearing what they are doing to your citizens. Let's play tip two. Call me. The police asked him to leave his house this morning. You know, they, 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 the friend has three kids and a wife. He was begging that the police can give him one or two weeks to look for another house. The police said, no, you must leave your house tomorrow morning, this morning. So, so it's difficult for people. So we tried to find out to test the people who have the, the virus or not, not chasing them out from their houses. It could be dangerous. If they have the disease, the disease will spread more. That's number one. Number two not allowing people to enter the plazas you know or the shopping malls you know many foreigners mostly foreigners you know 
So some people see it as discrimination, you know. You know, but I see it as Chinese people trying to protect their people. So for example, this is a plaza. If a Chinese person can enter the plaza and a foreigner comes to enter the plaza, they say no. Now, there was a foreigner who wants to buy something from a plaza. So he was not allowed to enter the plaza, but he gave money to the Chinese person to buy something from him. So like we said before, if the foreigner has the disease and he gives you money to buy something from him, you have the disease already. So let's try to find a way to make sure that we test if the foreigner has it or not. Not, not allowing him to enter the plaza and then he gives money to you. If he has the disease, you also have it. So let's make sure we test all the foreigners and allow them to follow up with other things there. I have no understanding why this man cannot call discrimination its authentic name. Chinese protecting their people and then the foreigner is giving money to a Chinese to help him or her purchase item from a, de a departmental store. What kind of foolishness is that? Discrimination is discrimination. We don't care the location. We don't care the color of skin of who is doing it. But Nigerians, you've heard. Africans, you've heard. Zambia has lost its airport. Zambia has lost its gold mine to China. Chinese run haywire in Africa. A Chinese is the head of the Zambian police. This is how bad this is. They have come to our continent to colonize us and our people who are in their country are treated inhumanely and treated as animals. And as always, Africa is always the source of anything bad. Uh, it, I want to tell Africans and I want to tell African governments that they should keep all Chinese in Africa under surveillance. They have no right to come and invade our continent and expect that people cannot come to their place. So this whole idea of a new colonization of Africa should die with this coronavirus that China introduced to the world to destroy the global economy, to destroy our humanity. They are the source of this ugly disease. They manufactured it in their bid, their desperate bid to control the world because of their race for the control of the world with America and Imperial Europe. Those who had previously held Africa and the rest of the world in captivity. Africa, unite. Now, here, authentically, from one of your citizens, from one of your sons, an African son in China, here directly from him he woke me up this early morning for me to do this because their lives are in danger a lot of them married to our uh, chinese women are now on the run they are in hiding they are being uprooted from their homes you know in the front of their chinese nigerian children listen to this uh, good morning uh, fellow nigerians this testing of the virus that is going on is specifically targeted on blacks, Africans. I've been making contact all around since yesterday. It's only blacks that are tested. Yesterday they went to a school and they refused, the African student, they refused to be tested unless they test all other nationals. And now they succumb and tested all other nationals. So we should be aware of what is going on. I hope our consulate, our embassy, our leaders are, know what is going on. If this is a conspiracy, it's better we wake up before it's late, too late. How can they target only blacks, that it is black? Even the policeman that came to my place this morning said the, that the virus is from Africa. 
I told him it's lie. It is from you. They were videoing. I don't care. They are using mobile phone to video. I tell them that it is Wuhan, your China here that this virus is coming from. So we should we should have this in mind and stop telling people that is is uh, uh, other. They are testing other uh, national. They are not testing other nationals. You people should know. At least in our fellowship, we have so many nationalities. They are confirming that nobody is test came and test them. If they will test other national tomorrow, then we know that they will test tomorrow. But in the past two days that they started this thing, it's only targeted on Africans, Nigerians, and other Africans. And the funny thing is that they will come into your house. You are married to a Chinese with children. They will test only you in front of your children. What an embarrassment. What ridicule. What a humiliation. Let them hear my voice. Yes, that is a Nigerian living somewhere in China. I don't want to mention his location for the sake of his safety. Africans, Nigerians are at the moment unsafe in China. I want every African, every Nigerian who hears this message to share it widely. I don't want you to go on a reprisal attacks on Chinese. But it is important that our authorities, Nigerian authorities, African authorities, across the length and breadth of Africa, to keep tabs on Chinese operating in Africa. These people come and exploit our people. They loot in active connivance with our corrupt leaders and get away with it. Zambia is gone. Angola is gone. Zimbabwe is in the chains of China. Nigeria is their big ticket. They are making a lot, a huge headway in there. Nigerians, you see what I've been telling you since the past nearly five years about the incursion of China into Africa. Our leaders, Nigerian leaders, I hope you are hearing. This is smart, Mado Ajaja. I uh, will keep tabs on this developing story. I will give you updates about what is happening. Uh, as it come, as the, the information is brought to us. I'm going to be awake to sample opinions of uh, other Nigerians in China to see what is happening in their own end. This young man previously had been tested and he tested negative. The reason he, he traveled from his location to Beijing. You know, since this disease broke out in Wuhan, there has not been any record of infection in Beijing. Beijing is being protected against the coronavirus. And that raises a lot of questions about what we are suspecting that this virus is a deliberate biological weapon shot at the world by the Chinese government in their desperate bid to become the power or the most powerful country on the earth they are doing it illegitimately they are doing it inordinately and at the cost of so many human lives across the globe. The moment for the world to stand up is now. The moment for the world to look at the composition of the United Nations Security Council is now. How can five countries, four white countries, and one Asian tiger be dictating to the world? It is time every continent of the world is represented at the National UN Secu uh, Security, United Nations Security Council. I don't see any reason why any African country should not be there. I don't see any reason why Nigeria should not be 
Africa's permanent representative at the UN Security Council. The moment for us to introduce real democracy at that level of the world is now. Five cannot anymore nullify 190 countries because they call themselves the world powers. The new world order that will be defined by equity is about to take place. God bless Nigeria. God bless Africa. Africa, Africa, unite. Bob Mali said it, and so shall it be. We, the children, must act it. The time is now.